what is handy folks welcome back to the channel what is good so in the last video you saw me start this G thing up finally um, I haven't done anything to this car since then and um, tonight I'm gonna be basically I'm gonna try to take off this intake manifold um, and then drop the motor down a little bit all right so I got the power steering off uh, motor mount disconnected Let's see if I can get this pulley off now all right and before I put it on this is a size comparison so this is notably smaller with the DA one here um, it's about a half pound lighter as well and hopefully that's not going to be an issue um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and mark off these notches see if these ones are still colored or not it's a red one in the middle and then white one on the top all right so I got it marked off now I'll just toss it back on right quick all right so I just removed this uh, shifter cable bracket and I'm test fitting the cable speedometer if you remember I took out the electric one and replaced it with a uh, spare one off of my uh, broken uh, four-wheel drive transmission over there and I'm looking at through the window here and it looks like it'll be able to plug into the instrument gauge uh, maybe even see if I can run the line inside this uh, hole in this uh, bracket here but yeah now I'm gonna go ahead and try and get this rear bracket on um, one of the things I was gonna do and why I was gonna take the motor out aside from the power steering and alternator because I am gonna have to take off the intake manifold to get the alternator on unless I drop the motor back down warning to you if you're doing a swap like this I do not think it's possible to get the uh, alternator on uh, without taking this intake manifold off um, or like I said having it installed before you put the motor in all right, so I've been pretty frustrated uh, just undoing everything that I just got done. Finding out the uh, power steering belt wasn't going to work for obvious reasons. I swapped out the pulley. Um, and now I'm actually kind of glad that I have to redo this because if you can see that little nipple down there, I have absolutely no idea what hose goes to that. Alright, so I think I think what I gotta do is get the belt on first. There, I think I did it. Now does it clear is the question. Got the belt on. And the pulley does in fact clear. So far, anyways. Now I just gotta get it bolted up. I'm starting to feel like the K series was probably the better bet. All right, so got a good amount of tension on there, not too tight, not too loose. And it looks like, I don't can really get in there, but you see that, that little bit of light coming through there, that's all the clearance I got. So, all right, so th the reason I really wanted to have this intake manifold off um, and why I reconsidered taking out the motor again to do this is because you need a lot of space to reach around in here and with this transfer case down here you know if you were running just a straight front wheel drive setup you wouldn't be dealing with this hopefully I can get these threads started on here just like that alright so these bolts back here are just huge they're 22 millimeters What I like to do is just kind of wiggle the motor back and forth and you'll be able to feel yourself getting ah, threads. So I'm lifting up on the exhaust towards me. And, ah, success. Now get that down, ratchet it with your electric if you're using electric but you always want to finish everything with your hand I always see a lot of um, 
channel is not really emphasizing on that. That's it. Sheesh! This motor is solid. This thing is not going anywhere. Which is good because I don't have a lot of clearance up here next to the transmission now that this is uh, fully mounted. Alright, so that is going to do it for this video, folks. I am, I am pretty much done. Um, I just got to throw the intake manifold back on. Uh, plug up that extra port that I don't need. Um, let's see, what else is there? Do the wiring harnesses, obviously. Um, and aside from that, that's pr that's pretty much it, folks. This this motor swap is complete. Just gotta redo everything I just undid. Um, figure out the power steering problem. I think I I think I might be able to get away with something. Um, Maybe just finding a belt that's a little smaller. I'm not 100% sure what to do here, but it's 5 a.m. I pulled another another all-nighter out here. I'm going on a rant. I'm tired. It is 5 a.m. I'm out of here. Peace out, folks. You're 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 you're. you're.